Sehr gut, sehr gut, sehr gut. Sehr gut. Ja, ja. Genau, genau, danke. Da habe ich die Box. Ja. Aderamo, Aderamo. So, hi Krishna, how, how is everyone doing? One moment, one moment, one moment. Is it, is it on or? Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Yes, yes, yes. So, how is everyone doing? Do, do you have enough air? <laughs> we have just, uh, yes, now, just now it's coming. I'm very delighted to be with all of you. Uh, I just need perhaps 30 seconds to just arrange myself here. We, we have a challenge how to do everything with a small place, but we are from India, it will work. <laughs> so, my Brille must be there somewhere. I'll pull it out. There seems to be a ghost in the machi machine, Jayatam. What? It's a mobile phone. It's a mobile phone. Oh, yes. Mm. So, here we go. Mm -hmm. Also, wenn du hier vielleicht Ich schon mal aufschlagen. Uh, Adi 13, 92 bis 96. Mm -hmm. We have the printouts on the Oh, we have. Oh, wonderful. Oh, wonderful. I think we will have them now. Uh, during this lecture, we will chant. 100, 108 names you have? 12 names, yes, yes, I thought. Uh, during this lecture we will chant, uh, uh, let us say it simple, a very powerful mantra. When you chant this on this appearance day or today, you will, your life will just flow like the Ganga. Uh, so we will distribute these pieces of paper now to you so that we can just, when it's time to chant them, uh, we can all chant them. Yes? Yes, 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 you can do. Please excuse me, I'm not just, just ready for the big internet. Let's see how big it will be. I'm wondering what what is there in the in the loudspeaker? Is it? Uh, I mean, it's mobile on the, on the yeah, people, have, people have to put it in flight mode. Yeah. yeah. If you put your mobile on flight mode, we, we have a very very sensitive mm, yeah, poor man's sound <laughs> equipment. So so it, it will become crazy when you when it gets too many signals. Yes, good. Um, Marava, do you have my pair of cartels, please, which I gave you? Yes, 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 yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Um. Yes. 
I'll chant with me. Namo Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta we need a little bit more volume from your side. Namaste Sadasvati Deve And part of the lines of the uh, prayer which you have in front of you, and please repeat uh, after me just the part which I chant. Mm. Chaitanya Krishna Chaitanya. Please. Chaitanya Krishna Chaitanya Gorango Dvijanayaka Gorango Dvijanayaka Jatinam Dandinam Chaiva Chaiva Nyasinancha Shidomani Nyasinancha Shidomani In text two Raktam Baladara Shriman Vatvi Pasudakara Vatvi Pasudakara Prema Bhakti Pradaschaiva Prema Bhakti Pradaschaiva Shishachinandanastata And now a complete line, a little longer. Chaitanya Krishna Chaitanya Gorango Dvijanayaka Chaitanya Krishna Chaitanya Gorango Dvijanayaka Jatinam Dandinam Chaiva Nyasinam cha shiromani Yadinam dandinam cha eva Nyasinam cha shiromani Raktam baladara shriman Navadvipa sudakara Raktam Baladara Shimam Navadri 
Vipassana Kala Prema Bhakti Pradashaiva Shri Shochinandanas Tata We will chant this one more time and now complete. Um, my dear everyone, this calls out to Chaitanya, the living force within all of us. Krishna Chaitanya, the all attractive, supreme living force, and Goranga, he of fair bodily complexion. And uh, some other names are coming, and it is said when you chant these three times a day at dawn, noon, and dusk, you will achieve the perfection of all your best desires. So I think uh, we chant all at, all at once three times, you know. So this is our dawn, noon, and dusk. Uh, and uh, please for, take a moment, uh, time, just a small moment. What is a, the real best desire? What is there in you that you would really like, uh, preferably in relationship to, to eternal spiritual values? So it's not uh, that you, 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 of course, if you want a Ferrari, you should uh, not be shy, but in your, your mind, think of what everlasting good benefit uh, can be had in your spiritual life. Huh? Take a moment, time, perhaps look at the altar to become inspired. Is there any, anything you would like your life to, any direction you would like it to turn into, so on. Keep this in your heart as we chant this for the last time. Ready? Chaitanya Krishna Chaitanya Yes, all together. Gorango Dvijanayaka Jati Nandan Dinam Chaiva Nyasi Nam Chashiromani Raktaham Radha Dashiman Navadvipa Sudakara Prema Bhakti Radhasaiva Shri Shachinananasata Gaur Prema Nandi Hari Hari Bo Hare Krishna I recommend that you fold this now so that it is always with you also in a hundred, hundred years from now. Well, that's a long time. I don't know. <laughs> a long time. That it, uh, you, it's our gift to you from our Berlin temple. This beautiful mantra, you can take it home and chant it whenever you wish. Good. Today is the appearance day of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was known by many, many names. I will say a few other names, and it's nice if you repeat after me. That will make the atmosphere very peaceful and good. So, first name. Goranga. Goranga. Gaurahari. Gaurahari. Vishvambara. Vishvambara. Shri Krishna Chaitanya. Gaurachandra, Gaurachandra Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu Nimai Pandit, Pandit. Hare Krishna. When, when we came here uh, on our way, we chanted the 108 names of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, but there is also a list of 1008 names. He is a special personality. You have maybe uh, two names, you know, a front name and a, 
last name and then the name uh, where your friend how your friend calls you and then another name how your enemy calls you uh, but it's exhausted the list after perhaps I don't know I had as a child uh, uh, six names uh, by which people, friends, teachers, and so on would, would call me. So this amazing personality is an avatar. Avatar is uh, a personality who comes from one plane, one dimension, one reality, and visits us for a short time. And when the time is over, he doesn't die like we do, uh, but he just disappears and goes back to the place from where he uh, came in the first time. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, if you want to know the exact date of his appearance, it was the 18th of February in the year, Christian year, uh, uh, 1486. Is here some mathematician amongst us? How long is that back? back? Jayatam, you are a, making a doctorate in computer science, so this is a simple. It's 538 years back on Saturday at precisely 5. 52 p.m. 5.52. That is soon coming. No, we have a, an hour still. Um, at that time, there was a great astrologer. His name was Nilambara Chakravati, and he was related to the family in which he appeared. And he read the horoscope of that little boy who who had a golden effulgence um, in bengal people are more i would say they are a little bit like like uh, shumit you know the the color of the skin uh, shumit you don't look golden you know <laughs> so he he marked he really stood out from the very beginning um, and uh, uh, Nilambar Chakravati, the great astrologer, was even more surprised when he read the astrology. He said, this personality has all the symptoms of a great person. That means very long uh, arms, a very broad chest already as a baby, and uh, uh, big eyes that extended almost to the uh, ears. <laughs> uh, really unusual. And he said, I can't believe what this uh, horoscope tells me. He will deliver all the three worlds and free them from the cycle of birth and death. That's something, no? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is foretold in old, old scriptures which really go back mm, to the four Vedas. In the four Vedas there is one little sub-branch, it's called the Chaitanya Upanishad. And there he is foretold, and I will read you the foretelling, just so that you know a little bit more about what an avatar is like. The Supreme Personality of Godhead Govinda, whose form is transcendental, who is beyond the influence of the three modes of nature, and who is the all-pervading Supersoul, residing in the hearts of all living entities, will appear as a great saint and a powerful mystic. He will assume a two-armed form of golden complexion mm. 
in a place Goloka Vindavan, which again is manifested on the bank of the Ganga and Navadweep. He will disseminate pure devotional service in the world. So, and, and then it continues. Svanama mula mantrena sarvam hladayati vibhu This supremely powerful Lord will spread bliss everywhere by chanting the basic mantra which consists of three names Hari, Krishna, and Ram. And, and you know, this, is, this means he will chant a mantra which you have sung and you have danced to it. It goes like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. I'm, I'm reading uh, really from a book uh, that is, is full of prophecies uh, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, now, what is important to note is that his appearance in this world is from the very beginning different from anything and anyone's appearance. The scriptures describe that those who are very aware and conscious are already aware when they are embryos in the womb of the mother. And there, such aware people, it's not everyone. Uh, you know, like in, also in Germany, you find, uh, you find not everyone is being highly conscious and aware. No? Um, the normal person, he will be when he is in the embryo stage. He will, he will say, uh, he is totally helpless. But this aware and awakened people in the embryo stage have a prayer. Oh Lord, they say, I'm suffering here. <laughs> I'm suffocating. <laughs> Please deliver me so that I can serve you. O oh my Lord, and worship you. But usually, even such aware people or conscious people, when they come out of the womb of the mother, uh, they uh, immediately are, you know, covered with the body and the mind, and the body is uh, thirsty and hungry and tired, um, and the mind is uh, screaming. <laughs> And um, they uh, don't really uh, feel any bliss when they come out. <laughs> uh, uh, they forget totally that as souls, we were all born in an ocean of bliss, in an ocean of ecstasy. And we should not be satisfied, even when we are in this world, with tasting anything else than ecstasy and divine pleasure no so so but we forget normally however the norm the the uh, and, and chaitanya mahaprabhu's uh, appearance day is not called a birthday like our birthday it's uh, he's not really like one of us he's not suffering in the womb of his mother <laughs> Nor is he forgetting everything when he comes out and tries to somehow arrange himself with the body and the senses. No. The appearance of a, such a divine personality is called Jayanti. Uh, Jai, you know Jai, what Jai means? Victory. Victory. Yes. Victory over what? Is it a battle which they fight? No. It's victory over Maya. At the moment, my dear devotees, at the moment, my dear friends, at the moment, my dear skeptics, where you can gain victory over the illusion of being uh, only a body and only a, a person with a lot of thought traffic, you know, a mind, at that moment you have attained 
victory, and you are uh, called a vira, a great hero. So the great souls are, or great personalities or avatars don't need to fight with the material energy. When they come uh, to us, they have already uh, been victorious. Uh, they are victorious. They are never under the influence or a victim of the material energy. Never, ever, and ever. So Lord Chaitanya's appearance was very special, and I want to read it to you from uh, scripture, uh, which is very nice. Uh, thank you very much. It is this great book, see? It is the Chaitanya Charitamrita. It has very small print, can you see? <laughs> very small. And it has almost 2,000 pages. So there's a lot in there. And uh, uh, it is described uh, what happened when this avatar you know, dove, so to say, like a meteor, came into our uh, earthly atmosphere. I will read it to you in the original language, uh, but uh, don't worry, I have translated in English. Akalanka Gora Chandra Dila Darashan Sakalanka Chandra Ara Kon Prayojana Eta jani rahu kaila chandreya grahana. And now you will understand something. Listen carefully. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Name, Basitri Bhuvana. Uh, here is the English for you. When the spot spotless moon of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became visible, what would be the need for a moon? full of black marks on its body. Therefore, because the planet thought, well, there is another planet, there is a bright moon who has appeared now in the land of Bengal. Um, uh, uh, therefore, there is no need for this, this other moon which has dark spots. So, considering this, one planet called Rahu, the black planet covered the full moon and immediately vibrations of Krishna, Krishna, Hari inundated the three words. Say, Krishna, Krishna, Hari. Very good, very good. All people thus chanted the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra during this lunar eclipse when the Rahu covered the moon and their minds were struck with wonder. It's described when the planet uh, Rahu went and eclipsed the full moon. The first moment was, it was really black and dark. No one could see anything any longer. <laughs> uh, it was as if the light of the world had been eclipsed. Uh, but at exactly that moment, somehow, without being even educated in any th mantras, uh, people naturally chanted Krishna, Krishna, Hari. And it was so uh, uh, special that people were, why, why did I just say that? <laughs> what did just happen to me? Even people of other faiths, it's described, started to chant. And uh, the uh, scripture continued, Jagat Bariya Loke Bale Hari Hari Shikshane Gora Krishna Bhume Avatari Avatar, you know what this is. No? When the whole world was, was just chanting the holy name of the Supreme Personality of God, Krishna, in the uh, no, I, I said it wrong. When the whole world was thus chanting the holy name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna, in the form of Gaurahari, advented himself on the earth. So, preceding or before uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu taking exactly his appearance, everyone, because of the 
moon eclipse, which was startling to everyone's perception, was just chanting, Hari Hari. The whole world uh, became very pleased. While the Hindus chanted the holy name of the Lord, the non-Hindus, especially the Muslims, jokingly imitated the words. If you want to experience something like this, come with us on the 4th of April. We will make a big, big holy name procession through Berlin, where we will chant the holy name to the sound of drums, cartels, and perhaps we bring a few balloons with us. Um, and you will see many people will go, ha, 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 And uh, this way there is uh, directly and indirectly uh, chanting and so on. Mm -hmm. While all the ladies vibrated the holy name of Hari on earth, in the heavenly planets, dancing and music were going on, for even the heavenly beings were very curious. Mm. It's described at that time, because of the joy, the ladies made one particular sound. It's called the Uludwani. And if we have some ladies with us, I request you to make this sound. Those who are new to, spurta, to this spurta culture might get a thrill in their, uh, in their, in their, in their bones and uh, develop goose pimple. Uh, it is very festive, but I can guarantee you, you have never heard such a sound like this, but it is very festive. So, um, let us now give the voice to our ladies. One, two. <laughs> One. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, how did you appreciate that? <laughs> it's a very festive sound. It was. I, I know some of you won't be able to to stop. We may have to. We may have to do it at the end again. <laughs> so, so this was uh, is something from this book on this. Appearance. I will give this most heavy book mm, to our assistant. Mm. So when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared in the house of his mother, Sachi, Sachi Devi, uh, and uh, at, uh, uh, and his father Jagannath Mishra, a very special thing happened in this house. It was, uh, it was, as I said, dark, but all of a sudden people could see these luminous beings, these beings who were full of light, coming and staying around the house. Mm, these were uh, beings from other higher planets, and they were uh, wanting to see uh, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And uh, one very old man came. He had a white beard and white hair. He was dressed in white garments. His good name was Advaita Acharya. And this Advaita Acharya is a special soul in Chaitanya Leela. He was, in fact, instrumental. Uh, it is described that before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he, he appearance, he would regularly go down to the altar establish a little altar like this, you know, not, not bigger like this, and place one form of the Lord there, one uh, Nishinga Shila, and he would uh, uh, worship this form with a Ganga water and Tulasi leaves, and then he would call out very loud, my Lord, this world needs you. Uh, we, the people who <coughs> practice a spurter path are incapable of enlightening the world um, which has fallen into darkness, spurter darkness. Please come. And uh, it is des described, his calling was so loud that it resembled a, a trumpet, very loud. 
and it reached uh, it, it pierced the shell of the universe and reached the ear of the Lord who then considered okay Advaita Acharya has called me uh, I will uh, take uh, an avatar form and I will come so so this is what uh, 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 so when Ch Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, uh, appeared as a small little baby Advaita Acharya and his wife came to see if that was the Lord they had called for they were uh, a little skeptical because after all an avatar of God is not a small thing it's not like a saint or a, a highly developed spiritual practitioner. No, he is God himself. And Advaita Charya would not believe so easily. But when he saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu smiled and moved his little feet um, uh, um, and looked into his eyes, he communicated to Advaita Charya, I'm here, give up your doubt. And Advaita Charya immediately became overwhelmed with symptoms of ecstasy. And uh, woo, and uh, he looked towards his wife, and his wife, yes, was a very practical woman. She had brought um, a, a trail, it's called, a plate with the paraphernalia which I used to worship, you know, a ghee lamp with light and a uh, conch shell with water, incense, flowers, and so on. And they performed the first Artik. Uh, and at the end, such Sita, Sita Devi blessed the child and said, May you live long! And she placed fresh doba grass and petty on the head of this baby. This is a sign of blessing. If you want to give somebody your blessing, Take a little green grass, put it on the head. <laughs> May you live long and green. <laughs> you know? and so, yeah. Now, uh, before I close my point, I would like to first of all, mm, yes, tell you a little bit of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's extraordinary activities. Um... Uh, there are so many. Uh, what should I mention? Uh, when he was... Let, let us start here. When he was a small little boy, even before it was time for normal children to walk, the little boy would walk through the house and out of the house and everywhere. And when his parents looked into the dust where the little footprints of the boy were, they were stunned and shocked. They didn't see the little footprint of a little baby, but they saw the footprints of the Lord. Footprints of the Lord means there is a line, there is a lotus flower, there is a fish on the heel, there is an octagon, a jambu fruit, mm, uh, something which you use to control elephants, you know. So many divine signs were there, a fire chakra, which showed to the parents, my God, who is he? <laughs> he is hiding in the form of a little baby. Uh, even at that time, uh, there were many miracles which happened around him. Um, but I, uh, I don't, don't want to stay here. I want to uh, describe what he did when he uh, uh, was uh, grown up. He, his greatest miracle uh, was not healing the many people which he was healing, lepra sick people who, whose bodies were totally deteriorated, whose limbs had melted away, he gave them beautiful new bodies. But that was not his miracles. His miracles were also not that he would sometimes 
during uh, the kirtans at the Ratha Yatra festival, expand himself into uh, very uh, into all the kirtan groups. There were perhaps twelve kirtan groups, and he expanded himself and danced in each one of these kirtan groups who made these uh, chantings mm, and so on. That was not his miracle. His miracle was not that he uh, uh, lifted huge uh, 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 things. His miracle was not that he could eat mountains of food, really mountains. Uh, all this was not his miracle. The miracle which he considered very, very uh, uh, by which he wanted to know was the transformation of the heart. I remember once my own spiritual master, who is a great devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, gave a lecture in, um, I do not know, in India somewhere, and many people had come to speak, to hear him speak. When Prabhupada spoke, there were sometimes 50,000 people assembling and listening to him. And, and one man, mm, he looked like a yogi, he said, Swamiji, what is your miracle? Can you show a miracle, please? Like, you know, manifesting something out of the stomach or, you know, you know uh, or so. And Prabhupada smiled and he pointed at uh, his disciples who were also sitting there on stage they are my miracle and uh, how was this a miracle uh, people did not quite understand the Prabhupada requested us I was not there I was in, in Europe at that time if he could sing the Hare Krishna mantra. So the devotees got up, took their drums and cartels and sang. And within moments, the atmosphere changed. And all these 50,000 people got up and started to blissfully dance and chant. And when it was over, they sat down and Prabhupada looked and they all nodded. Yes, they had felt the miracle. Once there was a yogi who left his village and after 35 years of yoga practice, he came back to the yo village and the villagers asked him if he could show his miracle. And the yogi stepped on the river and walked over the river. Now there was one boatman who saw this and he said, Oh, you wasted your time. I could have taken you over the river for three <laughs> rupees. <laughs> you wasted your time. The, the real miracle is, my dear everyone, when we can uh, transform the heart and obtain uh, jai or, or joy, no? uh, uh, victory over the material energy and over the repeating problem of, 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 of death and then a new birth and then a new death and so on. That is the real miracle that comes when the soul is purified and comes to its original position as a, a joyful, uh, ecstatic part of, of God. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu once went to Varanasi and there were Mm, there was a big school, a spiritual school, uh, led by one saint called Prakashananda Saraswati. Mm, he had 60,000 disciples who all were dressed like this in saffron dress, and they were sannyasis, and they uh, lived there. This saint was so influential that practically the whole town followed him, but 60,000 were monks, you know. You don't have to become a monk to practice spiritual life, but uh, so that he was very 
let us say, he was really very influential in the town. And he was very disturbed when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came. Because when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, he would do these kirtans on the streets and as a result uh, uh, the people started to sing and dance in, in ecstatic love of God. And the whole town <laughs> uh, changed and he felt a little bit, oh, I'm losing my influence here. And he began to say bad words. Uh, he shouldn't have done it. I think we all know it. And he knew it afterwards. But he felt envy come in your heart, in his heart. Don't you all know this when you feel that someone does better than you, someone becomes more prominent, someone is more honored, someone gets more likes in the Facebook, um, and you feel he's not so qualified as I am. He doesn't look so charismatic as I do. Uh, mm, and so on. So we all know this enviousness and sometimes it is also there in people who follow the spiritual path. So Prakashananda Saraswati, I tried to put all obstacles in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's uh, path until one day mm, a, a, a man from there, from the town said, why don't we invite Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and you can have a discussion with him and you can show uh, before the whole town that he is unintelligent and you are supremely intelligent. Oh, good idea, said Prakashananda <laughs> Saraswati. So he invited Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for a lunch, but before that there would be discussion. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, he sat down not amongst these highly uh, evolved uh, or honored sannyasi. He sat at the place where the foot were washed. Um, you know, uh, in the temple we put our shoes in this one place. It is too small, I know. <laughs> Uh, and I wish you all good luck to find your pair of shoes uh, <laughs> afterwards. In the old times, people would avoid such problem by going barefoot. India is warmer than in the West. But before entering a place, they would wash their feet. And the place where they washed their feet had perhaps the most interesting mixture of the smell of human sweat. You know, and this, 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 it was a, considered a dirty place. You would just wash your feet and <laughs> just leave this. So, so it was that place where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu chose to sit. And when Prakashananda said, where is he, where is he, where is he? Um, they said, he's still sitting where the foot, foot, are, foot are washed. Prakashananda went down and said, come, come come amongst us and sit and we shall discuss. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu looked very beautiful. He looked like one million god of loves. If you have ever seen one, um, then multiply this by one million. Um, so, but he took a very humble position and said, no, I'm not worthy to sit with you. This was the first very astonishing feature. Then Prakashananda uh, said, no, no, you come, we have to have some discussion here. And, uh, and as he came closer, he saw Chaitanya Mahaprabhu transform. A light came from his transcendental body, which uh, it didn't blind uh, Prakashanandi in, uh, in the medical sense. He didn't have his eye surgery uh, afterwards, but he was overwhelmed by this divine light. And as he looked at Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he could say, he said, you are the one. Narayan, Narayan, Narayan. And he, please, uh, and he was already softened in his heart. <laughs> He brought him up there and 
They had a discussion, they ate their meal, but that is perhaps it is a highly, highly, highly technical discussion. I, uh, I won't burden you. You would have to have studied uh, for years philosophy in order to understand what they talked. Um, uh, at the uh, uh, the next day, I want to bring you to <coughs> what happened the next day. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu made his kirtan, and uh, Prakashananda who had been defeated in that discussion the day before, had spent the whole day in desperation in, in his hut. You know, he was the founder of a philosophical school and his philosophy had been shown to be not only uh, wrong, but it was evil. It brought people to the very bad conclusions. And uh, he meant well. He was uh, a spiritual person. And he was there and, oh no, After first I had to be set up as the Lord and Master of Varanasi. Now this young sannyasi with his mystical aura has totally uh, turned me upside down, so to say. What will be my future? And he, could, uh, he was sitting in the uh, hut, it was an ex existential crisis. So then all of a sudden he heard the sound, it was the next morning, of a large kirtan. Mm, and a person came to him and said, the, the, the uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who came yesterday, he leads kirtan, would you like to come and see it? It's, it's really extraordinary what happens. So Prakashananda, uh, quickly dressed and came out of his hut and this is what he saw he saw thousands twenty thousands hundred thousands you know the whole town chanting at the top of their voice uh, Hare Hare Krishna, Krishna. Hare, Hare. Rama, Rama. Govinda Gopal, and, and all these sacred names. <laughs> and uh, thank you. Uh, it's nice when we all say it. It's a more, more better atmosphere is there. Um, and he saw them going through transformations where they cried uh, as if rivers fell from their eyes. But uh, you know, there are different types of tears. There are tears out of uh, pain, then there is tears out of disappointment, but there are tears of the souls, and a spiritual person can distinguish between the three. Uh, he saw that they were all expressing their deepest, deepest gratitude and uh, 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 joyfulness upon uh, being awakened from the slumber of material illusion and coming to an enlightened state. Wow! And he's, and as he came closer, the kirtan of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu draw him. He <coughs> also ran forward and he sang and danced. He had never danced before in his life. He had never sung. He thought that's for emotional people, um, not people who are very developed. Uh, so so he, he uh, totally turned around and at the end he was so blissful and so ecstatic. He felt, now my enlightenment has also come. This is just one of the many, many incidents of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh, what were his teachings? Uh, what did he bring? Well, if you read uh, his uh, about his life, there are three things which stand out. Mm, uh, mm. The first is uh, uh, take shelter in chanting the holy name. The best is you do it constantly, day and night. Sing. Not just when you chant your japa or in the kirtan, but constantly. The second is 
hear about Krishna from scriptures like the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. And then he said, to some he said, go to Vindavan, a holy place, and stay there. Um, and uh, in this way, he, uh, uh, once he had cured a person who had this terrible disease called lepra, leprosy. Uh, do we have it here in Europe also? In, in the medieval times, I think it was there. Lepra. No? I know Fr Saint Francis of Assisi he healed it, uh, but normally when you had lepra, the society would push you uh, out of the cities uh, in order to avoid infection, and the leper people would live in a leper colony, a very very difficult life before they died a fast death. So mm, once uh, he. Mm, there was one leper and he just Chaitanya Mahaprabhu uh, came to him and embraced him and by his embrace this leper, uh, leper, uh, leper got a beautiful new body well built muscles good intelligence everything intact and this leper was a spiritual person and he said, Oh no, what have you done? Now I will do what most of these people who are in illusion do. I will identify myself, who am an eternal blissful soul, with this temporary body which is unclean, which is, you know, at least after some time, if you don't wash it, you know what happens. Or, or just go into the bathroom uh, when you have vi vi uh, when you have come out of your sitting position. You know how it smells, um, uh, uh, and so on. They identify with this body, but we are so blissful. Now, when I have a beautiful body, this will happen to me also. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave a solution. He said, "Just chant Hare Krishna," and your false ego, your false identification will go away and you will uh, become enlightened in Krishna consciousness. So these are his very nice teachings. Um, it is described that the advent of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is an expanding ocean of nectar. It is described that at the bottom of an ocean uh, there are valuable jewels. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came, the ocean of truth was agitated and the jewels all came out uh, and were, were within the reach of everyone. So uh, the poets say, anyone who does not collect the jewels which Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives uh, uh, from the ocean of truth, who doesn't collect them, uh, they will, mm, 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 uh, they have lived in vain. No? So, mm, uh, the, what are the jewels of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? There are nine. Navaratnas. Just like in an ocean, you find nine types of jewels. In the ocean of uh, spiritual truth, you find sh Shravanam, Kirtanam. Smaranam, Achanam, Vandanam, nine jewels which are uh, bringing you in contact with the Supreme Lord. We are practicing these nine jewels in our movements. They are uh, potent spiritual practices that purify the soul and uh, make us eligible to see and, and uh, engage face to face with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, in order to end, I will re again request all of you to chant your powerful 12 names. And then I will guide you in a little meditation uh, from the Udvamaya Tantra.
about Lord Chaitanya. Oh. Please all raise your arms in the beginning. Let's get some energy here. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Repeat after me. Chaitanya Krishna Chaitanya. Chaitanya Krishna Chaitanya. Gorango Dvijanayaka. Gorango Dvijanayaka. Satinam Nandinam Chaiva. Yasinam Chashiro Mani Yasinam Chashiro Mani Olaktam Baradara Shriman Olaktam Baradara Shriman Navadvipa Sadakara Navadvipa Sadakara Rema Bhakti Bhakti Pradas Chaiva Rema Bhakti Pradas Chaiva Shri Shachi Nandana Stata Shri Shachi Nandana Stata And please now put the piece of paper away as it properly in a stable position Let us do a few deep inhalations and exhalations. And whenever you exhale, just relax your body part by part. First, relax your legs. Then the trunk of your body, let it all go. Your shoulders, always on an exhalation, relax part of your body. And finally, your face, relax it. We won't make a photo how you look with a relaxed face. and uh, become a little bit peaceful. Meditate on Mahaprabhu as follows. He has two arms, a golden complexion that spreads from his body, His right hand is raised, <coughs> the palm faces you, and he gives blessings and fearlessness. As you look at his eyes, there are tears of love. He is tightly embraced by Prema and he chants the name of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, please join. Hare.
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appears as 5.52, so we will sing during this time. Will we make an arati or later? Later, good. Yes. So we will just chant for five more minutes. It's really now the appearance time. It's the best thing that we do. What we can do is to chant during this time. So you can all look towards the altar. You see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's deity there at the from your side and left side of the lower step of the altar and uh, please chant with some devotion and loud enough please let us sing now Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Oh, 
everyone one more time. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Hare Krishna. I thank you all very, very much for mm, listening so, so intently at uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mm, beautiful personality. I, all, I would like to encourage you to uh, make yourself more familiar with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We have many uh, students here. Uh, that's one of the wealth of our Berlin temple. We have so many students from uh, our Indian community. But uh, I think only uh, Joyatom and Shumit uh, uh, know about the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because they are from <laughs> Bangla, and, you know, <laughs> Bangladesh and all. Uh, many Indian uh, people, mm, mm, uh, although they know many avatars, uh, need to go deeper a little in the study of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And also we Westerners, you can read about him and find out um, by a work called Chaitanya Chaitamrita and if that is too voluminous it is altogether I think 17 volumes uh, must be something like that uh, you can have a summary of it in the book called Teachings of Lord Chaitanya it's uh, uh, available I, um, perhaps in the temple shop perhaps not but you can speak to the devotees and they can organize it for you. Mm, yes. Mm. How, how are you? Thank you. Should, should we put a little bit more oxygen? Yes. Because some of you uh, uh, sounded really like uh, struggling <laughs> with consciousness. Good, good, good. Fine. So let me just ask the, uh, how we will continue with our festival. Just hold on. Lika Shava. Uh, ah, our best man. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So thank you, Maharaj, for such a great class on Chaitanya Chaitanamrit. So and thank you for. I hope you all relish it. Doesn't look like. So now we'll have again wonderful performance. So that is again on the God Leela. So I would request every one of you to make some space uh, at the front so that our devotees can, you know, uh, do the setup. And parallelly, we also do the setup for the uh, projector. So parallelly, we can see the lyrics and the